In today's video, I'm going to be talking on the reasons why your spiritual work are not working for you or the reasons you are not getting answered whenever you use any of them or why some doors may close for you or your family. So stay tuned and let's go. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and good evening. I greet you as usual according to wherever you are and exactly when you see this video. You are highly welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time or you're just stopping by, you are highly welcome. My name is Promise and I'm saying welcome to my channel. So please do consider clicking on the red button, subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more of my videos. Anytime, any day I upload a new video. For my return subscribers, thank you very much for coming back. Always welcome again today. All right, in today's video, based on the calls and messages, I want to talk on the requ on the reasons why some of your spiritual recipes are not working or why you are not getting answer whenever you use them. All right, so number one, your spiritual work may not work for you is this. Spiritual work is like you embarking in a journey of deliverance. It's like you embarking in a journey to save yourself for you. So it should be a personal desire. It should be a personal opinion. You shouldn't tell anyone when you want to embark in such journey because you don't know who is bewitching you. You don't know who is after your progress. All right. Many of us, before we do something, we'll try to consult people. We'll try to announce it to many people, not knowing whoever that is against us. And anytime you want to embark in any journey like this and you start talking to people, you don't know the spirit that followed anybody. The spirit that follows anybody, that person you are talking to may not be a good spirit. It may be a hindering spirit. Yes, some people carry a different spirit that they don't know it exists in their life. All right, so that is why it's very, very necessary that anytime you want to embark in a spiritual recipe or in a prayers, that you want to liberate yourself for a particular reason, it should be a personal decision. Another one your spiritual recipe may not really work for you is for you not to understand who you are. Number one thing in life is that you need to understand who you are. Why, how do I mean by understanding who you are? Like a lot of people used to say, oh, uh, I'm, uh, I, have, I have a spiritual husband, I have a spiritual wife. And uh, remember, I did one video here and I told you, not everyone contacted spiritual husband or spiritual wife from the water. There is some spiritual husband you contacted from your foundation, from the deity in your family. All right, so that is why you see a lot of people, they will tell you, oh, I've been told I have a spiritual husband. I have been, I've been going to the river doing sacrifice and doing this thing, doing this thing, yet it's still disturbing because you are doing the wrong thing. You have not been able to discover where your spiritual husband is from. Sometimes you may contact your spiritual husband from the spirit or from the gods that your forefathers have worshipped. Many of us, like some of us, we have been dedicated into some strange spirit, into some spirit deity in our family or in our lineage. And from there, you can connect with a spiritual husband. And believe me, such spiritual husband, you need a settlement for that spiritual husband to leave you alone. That is a simple truth. That is why you see that a lot of people, they will fight spiritual husband ages without getting rid of them because they thought it's something that they will fight like that. You don't fight, you just settle and let them go. Another way you can contact a spiritual husband, it can be from a covenant. Like some of us, you th there is something that many when it's happening to you, you need to contact your parents, you need to contact your mother and ask them a question. What happened when I was born? What happened? To, let them tell you the story of your life. Because most of the time, sometimes on the early stage, a kid or a child may be sick. And you know, those are our forefathers and those are our mothers because they don't have the belief that we have this moment. They will just go to a deity or they will go to a river or go to any shrine and make they promise that oh please my child is sick if this child is okay i'm going to do this do this you know it's just a covenant and probably maybe after that and you or that person become well they might have forgotten that covenant they have made believe me the person has been married to the spirit that is another way you can contact a spiritual husband some can be from the water some of the mothers they got their children from the water like when they are things is difficult for them they go to a certain river they was like oh when you do this for me or some are looking for a child it was like if you do this thing for me if you give me this child oh i'm going to do this for you and probably or finally they got that exactly what they want but 
because of the joy or anything, they have contact that spirit, all right, that connects to a spiritual husband or spiritual wife. So why I'm just trying to explain to you is this. Whenever you want to pray or whenever you want to do any of the recipe, understand where you are from, understand your lineage, understand where your own problem is coming around. If you can understand like this, if you can make an inquiry to know exactly what is really wrong, believe me, you can't really fight it for ages. Just for one thing you are to do, they will go. And another way we can contact a spiritual husband is this. Sometimes, that is why I say always speak positive things. Even when things seem difficult, speak positive things. Because you don't know the particular spirit that work at that moment you are speaking. That's why you say a lot of people, as parents, they'll be like, when their child do something, they'll be like, oh, go, uh, this thing that you did to me, your child will do it to you. You don't know the spirit that passes at that moment and they connect with that, your words. And you thought, oh, it's just a method. It's not a method. You yourself, you may not know. The child may not know. But it's when that child grow up to become something, you will see those things hindering them. So it's another way to connect to a spirit that hinders that child from becoming what it's supposed to be. All right. Then another way of this spirit is like some ladies or some maybe when you are young, you are into a relationship and you know, both of you are professing love, saying so many things and all that. And as a stage, maybe when you people grow up or traveled, you know, you felt, oh, we are old enough or we are not compatible enough to live and both of you departed you don't know that those promises that both of you made at that moment there is a spirit that is between both of you that process that said those words and the magnet to it is another way to hinder people from not moving forward in life all right so another thing again that may hinder you in life this is very very important and i want all of us to just try because this is like somebody was telling me like the people but it doesn't matter really it matters let me tell you as a man don't have a sexual intercourse don't have a close relationship with your woman when she's in her monthly period this is another way that blocks the way this is another way that hinders people from going far in life when a woman is under her mesra period that moment as a man don't touch her don't have sexual intercourse with her remember it's the blood that comes out of her body remember so all these things is one of the things that prevents people from going far in life is what you see that most of people that does something like charm and all that when they when a woman is under her monthly period they never go too close to the woman because the, at that particular moment it destroys whatever they carries so in spiritual reign any woman that is under has the mesri period or her monthly period at that moment is she is under cleansing herself spiritual so you don't need to near that woman no matter whether or not your wife whether or not your girlfriend well like somebody was saying ah i think that is the best time to do it. that is not the best time to do it to you it may be the best time but spiritually it hinders so many things so it's not always good having sexual communication with a woman that's under her monthly period all right. And another thing is this. Let me tell you, these spiritual recipes are not magic. This is the natural thing. This is a natural remedy. Like a lot of people do say, oh, this is diabolic. This is evil. This is not diabolic. This is the natural thing. This is the what God created. You are just using it to pray. It doesn't matter your belief. It doesn't matter your religions. Like it depends on the belief. Like Christians, they would like, oh, God Almighty is the same God as Chi, like other native uh, other uh, native religions or herbalists or whatever they called on. All you need is keeping your hands clean. All you need is when you see this is A, tell people this is A. When you see this is not good, say this is not good, no matter whatever that is involved, always say the truth. So the God you are calling, you know, like a lot of people do say, oh, is diabolic, is not that. The God Almighty, who is the creator of all universe, he lives in heaven and he lives in earth. All right? So that is the same God is the God as she, like other people believe, because this is their belief. 
All right. So don't always like somebody was asking me one day, oh, Lady P, I want to do this recipe. Should I pray in the name of God? And I asked, are you praying in the name of me? I don't have an answer to your prayer. Is your God, is your chi, is your garden angels, is the gods of your ancestors that have power to your prayers, that have answer to your prayers. I myself is just to share my knowledge with you, to share what I've learned, to share what I have been into with you so that you will implement it and it work for you. So you asking me, should you pray in, or you pray in the name of Lady P? I don't have an answer. The way you are pursuing your life, that is how I'm doing my own. All right. The only thing that differentiates people in life is just grace. Your grace is not my grace. The grace of another person is not the grace. That is why you see that sometimes some people will tell me, oh, that if you do know this thing that you told me to do, I've done it before, but it did not work for me. But I did it now. It was. I don't know how it happened, but all I know is grace. All right. All right. And another way is giving arms. Please always give arms. Anything, anytime you do any of the spiritual recipe, try to give arms. Try to give people out. Sometimes tap blessings from people higher than you. If you cannot go outside, meet those orphanage, meet those beggars, those widows, cheer something to them. All right? So all these things is one of the things that opens way for people. So I want you to just have this knowledge so that anytime you are using any of the recipe, you have, because what you don't have the knowledge, you don't really know how it works. You will not, like what you don't attach seriousness will not work for you. And above all, have faith. Your faith is number, that is even number one thing that answers your prayer. Okay, so is your faith. You go to church, you have not seen God, but because you believe that God exists, you believe there is God. That is why you go there and you lay down on the table, your request, you pray to him, your prayer becomes solved because you believe. If you don't believe, you are wasting your time. So you should always believe in yourself in whatever you are doing. So always have that spirit of belief and faith that as long as I do this, it works for me. That is me. Even when it seems difficult, I believe that I must break through and I break through. So that is the secret of you getting an answer to your prayers. I am doing this video based on the re sorry request of people all right so please implement this few that i've said while we continue sharing more of the benefit of the spiritual recipe believe me every door that close in your life is going to be opened it's not magic it's just natural and it's just normal anytime you want to pray first of all, if you wake up in the morning pray thank your god thank the god of heaven god the earth thank your chi thank your garden angel which is the holy spirit thank the god of your ancestors is not a crime, is not evil. Thank them, acknowledge them in your life for keeping you alive, for protecting you and your family. Go ahead and pray whatever you want to pray. They will answer you. They will give you an answer to that particular request you are making. The reason we keep praying for one particular thing, yes, is because we don't direct our prayers in the right way. As long as you have this knowledge and always direct your prayer in the uh, or recipe in a normal way, believe me, you will get an answer to it. All right, so I wish I share with you and I hope you put it into practice and believe me, things will be working. And I pray for you, as long as you embark in this journey, as far as you in practice this that I've said, believe me, every door that closed in your life is going to be open. Whoever that said that you and your family will not succeed will go down for you to succeed. All right, thank you very much, my beautiful family. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. Share to others so we can grow together. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye.